at Lake Champlain. This is their story. Hey everyone, wanna go swimming? Yeah! Sorry kids, can't go swimming today. The water isn't clean enough. Wait, what does he mean we can't go swimming? I can explain. Who are you? I'm Nebby. Never come and get this spot on Lake Champlain since I was five. I'm 81 now. You do the math. <laughs> wow, you've been coming here for 76 years? That's a long time. By the way, I'm Wyatt. I'm Ashley. I'm Terry. I'm Emily. And I'm Ross. <laughs> w. A. T. E. R. All your initials spell out the word water. This is amazing. I've been waiting for you for years. Waiting for us? But why? I have to go now. But if you come back around the fire tonight, I'll explain everything. Later that night, the kids met back at the edge of the lake around a small campfire. You were wondering why you couldn't swim earlier. I have an answer to your question. Many years ago, when I was a child, Lake Champlain was vibrant and clear. There was an abundance of plant and wildlife living in and around the lake, keeping the lake pristine. Slowly over the years, there have been drastic changes to the health of our water. That's horrible. Why has this been happening? Many people have grown less and less careful, and some are just unaware that what they're doing is harmful to our water. We have to do something about this. Yes, that's why I've been coming back each year. I've been waiting for you. Why us? Because the ones whose names spell out water are destined to help save Lake Champlain Basin. But how can we save the water? That's for the water spirits to say. Let me teach you this song to summon them. special song that one song calls the water spirits in a circle. This is our water, our lovely water. It protects all things on earth. It is the life source of every creature. No matter how big or small, this is our water, our lovely water. It protects all things on earth. It is the life source of every creature, no matter how big or small. Hello, children. We are the Lake Champlain Water Spirits. We want you to know that our water is being polluted and that we need help. There once were hundreds of us protecting this water, but because there is so much pollution here, Four of us left. We are slowly disappearing. Once we're all gone, we'll no longer be able to help protect the lake. This lake has been a huge part of the history of this area, all the way back to when the Abenaki inhabited this land. The lake was originally called Fidiba and has been the sustainer of life for thousands of years. This water connects all of us. The lake has slowly become tainted by human behavior. So what can we do? You can spread information. Tell people what you know. Remind people that small changes can make big changes. We can do that. We'll help save the water. We hope you do. Lake Champlain is depending on it. Good luck. Let's meet back here in one year from now to check in. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Got it.
Scene 2, In Town. On the way back to their homes, the kids started seeing many ways the water is being polluted. They saw people washing their cars in their driveways, people spraying pesticides on their gardens, cars leaking oil, storm drains clogged up with trash, and animal waste on the ground. They decided that the way they could help would be to teach the townsfolk about what was happening in everyday life to know that was affecting the lake. A few days later, they went to the town green to talk with the mayor. Mr. Mayor, our water in the Lake Champlain Basin is slowly being polluted, mostly from non-point source pollution. If we don't do something now, it will be harder to take action in the future. Do you think we could give a speech and put up an information center here in our town to help change people's behavior? Why don't I set up a meeting at the town green with you and some of our townspeople, and you can explain what you want to do? That sounds great. We'll get some information together. Over the next two days, the kids researched information and made materials for the meeting. They made posters, talked to experts, and learned facts about the lake. Oh, you're here! I'm glad you could all make it! So, why are you guys this together here today? We have learned that our water is being polluted, and we need to make some changes. What can we do? We know that most of this is coming from non-point source pollution. And we want to change it from pollution to solution. What's non-point source pollution? Well, according to Lake Champlain Basin Program, pause. We'd like to give a shout out to Lake Champlain Basin Program for all the information they provide the public. Unpause. <laughs> Non-point source pollution is a pollution that comes from many different sources rather than a specific point. Substances added to the water by non-point source pollution include pathogens, sediments, nutrients, and other toxic substances. These substances often upset the delicate balance necessary to maintain a healthy ecosystem. What can we do to help stop non-point source pollution? Well, there are lots of different ways. Do any of you wash your cars in your driveway? Well, if you wash your car in the lawn, you can prevent soap and grime from washing into the groundwater. It will eventually go into the lake. I can do that. Yeah, that seems easy enough. How many of you throw away batteries, paint, and other toxic things in the trash? Yeah. What else are we supposed to do? You should take them to a hazardous waste depot so they don't get soak into the groundwater. Another thing you can do is get out harmful household products such as dish soap and laundry soap for friendly products. And use natural fertilizers on your lawn and garden rather than pesticides. Do any of you think you can do that? I yes. can do that. We'll spread the word. If we work together, we can all make small changes that will lead up to big changes. We as citizens have the power to make a difference. Let's, let's get to it. We have a lot of hard work to do. Scene three, back at the lake. One year later, back at Lake Champlain, while people frolicked in the water, the kids met an old friend. Welcome back, water protectors. How have things been going? We've been working as hard as we can, spreading information for the past year, and it feels like we're making progress. We know it's not over yet, but we know that people have listened to the facts and are doing some things differently. People are using less harmful pesticides. More people are picking up their animal waste and trash. The town has fixed their storm drains so that only water goes down them. People are either not washing their cars or washing them on the lawn. And the stores have told us they are selling way more earth-friendly products to the townsfolk. That's amazing. You've proven you are worthy of the trust of the water spirits. Let's call them back again. This, this is our water, our lovely water. It protects all things on earth. It is the life source of every 
creature, no matter how big or small. This is our water, our holy water. It protects all things on earth. It is the life source of every creature, no matter how big or small. Hello, friends. Welcome back. We have felt and noticed many changes over the last year. We've noticed healthy fish in our water. The water feels much cleaner. You've done well. We have already started to repopulate. Thank you for all the help you've done for the water. You have reminded people that small changes can make big changes. We did it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. small. 